Okay, get started now. So we're looking at um, these related rates. Let's see what we have going on here. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. I think, we're, I think we're okay with this one. It's not too bad. So first we have to start off by calculating um, We want dy dt, yeah, so sorry, so we can say dy dt equals dy dx dx dt, which it equals uh, dy dx, so that's 2x, dx dt is 4. So we would like dy dt when x equals 1. That would be eight. Two. Um, dx dt would equal dx dy dy dt dx dy. Well, we can get dy dx. So it'll just be the reciprocal one over four x. That's dx dy. Uh, oh, sorry. What have I done? Silly Stephen. dx dy dy dt. So as I was saying, dx dy would be 1 over dy dx, which is 1 over 4x, times dy dt, which is minus 1. So dx dt at x equals minus 2 would be minus 1 over minus 8. Okay, 3. Find dz dt. dz dt equals mm, we've got two variables now. Brr. I have dx dt and dy dt. So if I differentiate with respect to t, using implicit derivatives, that would be 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt and that would be 2x times 4 plus 2y times 3. That'll be 8x plus 6y. So dz dt at 1 3 will be 8 plus 18, which is 26. Better check the answers here for chapter four. Eight and 13 over root 10. Ah. Yeah, because I forgot I was doing implicit derivatives, so that should have been that should have been a um, a two z here dz dt. So that means dz dt should have been this over two z, which is this over two z, which is this over two z, which would be this over two root x squared which is 1 squared plus 3 squared so that would be 13 over root 10 yep now we're correct okay sorry about that i forgot what i was doing halfway through doing it um we differentiate these three guys uh at implicit derivatives yeah so sorry about that just missed out the two z there Good thing I checked. That one was a bit tricky. OK. 
Okay. Um, put that up here. Where are we now? Right. Um, looks like we've kind of got a tech question, kind of. It says if two electrical resistors are connected in parallel, the total resistance given by that equation. R1 is increasing at that rate and R2 is decreasing at that rate. At what rate does the total resistance change? Hmm. Wants me to graph it, but I really feel like this is really a tech question to be honest. R1 is increasing at that rate per minute and R2 is decreasing at that rate per minute. Just a, really, is it really a tech question? Because it's just for making the graphs, I guess. But does it want me to make a three dimensional graph? I'm not actually sure actually sure so we have r power minus one equals r1 power minus one plus r2 power minus one so that means minus r minus two dr dt i'll just put it as a dot equals minus two r1 minus two uh, no no it's not minus two bring down the power and then reduce the power by one and multiply by the derivative and then bring down the power reduce the power by one and multiply by the derivative so i can definitely cancel out the minus so i can get d or dt would equal I'll leave the dot notation in, it's more convenient. Or dot will equal R1 dot over R1 squared plus R2 dot over R2 squared. And then this is 1 over R squared, so times R squared. So we want to... Um, the squares actually doesn't matter about if it's increasing or decreasing um so i can fill in or one dot 0 0.5 and then or one is 20 is 20 squared plus or two is 1.1 oh well actually there is no square on this one so i better put in the minus minus or point at uh, 1.1 um, over 50 squared times the total resistance of 50 and 20 squared. So using the original formula, 1 over 50 plus 1 over 20 reciprocal squared. So that's 10,000 over 49 times 0 0.5 over 20 squared minus 1.1 1 .1 over 50 squared. That is 81 over 490 ohms a minute, or roughly equal to 0 0.165 ohms a minute increasing. You are yeah okay how are we doing on time five is a classic question i think i'll do that one The classic question. A 10 foot ladder is leaning against a wall. If the top of the ladder slides, if the top of the ladder slides down the wall two feet per second, how fast is the bottom of the ladder moving the ground? 
when the bottom of the ladder is five feet from the wall. So if we call this x and y, we have x squared plus y squared equals 10 squared, which is 100. And uh, if we, uh, if we we're looking for the x dt, so if we differentiate here, we have 2x dx dt plus 2y dy dt equals 0. We can cancel out the 2s here. And um, we know that the x is 5 dx dt plus the y. We can calculate from Pythagoras. The y would be root 100 squared minus uh, 10 squared minus um, and 5 squared, so it's root 75, root 75 is 5, five root 3 isn't it, 5 root 3 and then y dot equals 0, now I guess actually uh, uh, got to be careful to put in the minus sign, the y dot is minus 2, so we have 5 x dot minus 10 root 3 equals 0, so dx dt is 10 root 3 over 5. So dx dt is 2 root 3 feet per second, which is roughly 3.46 feet per second. That's question 5. Let's see if that's correct. root 3, yeah. Okay, it'll be back we go. So it looks like there's another one, very similar. Twenty five foot ladder seen against the wall if we push the ladder towards the ball at a rate of one. Yeah, so it's, it's basically the same thing. Um so we have x squared plus y squared equals twenty five squared six hundred and twenty five. So two x x dot plus two y y dot equals zero. Uh, and how far does the ladder move up the wall? So that's um, the y, cancel the twos here. So y dot equals minus x, x dot over y. So if we push the ladder towards the wall at a rate of one foot per second, so that's the x dot is minus one. So we'll just get dy dt um, will be x over y. How far does the ladder move up the wall five seconds after we start? Mm, yeah. So the only complication is working out the x and the y after five seconds. Well, if we push the ladder towards the wall at a rate of one foot per second, Okay, let's just draw the picture initially. Initially, it's 25. And initially, that's 20. So, this is your 3, 4, 5 triangle, isn't it? So, that's 15. And then, 5 seconds later, that's still 25. Um, but that will now be 15. Ah, so that will have to be 20. So, um, 15 over 20, so it'll be climbing at 0 0.75 feet per second. I think so, yeah. Yeah. This is a 25 foot ladder. Is uh, if we push the ladder towards the wall at the rate of one foot per second, that means x dot equals minus one foot per second. 
and it's initially 20 away. How far does the ladder move? Five up the wall five seconds later. So that's the Y. Logically, it has to be if this is now the X, which is five feet less, because it's still the same triangle, 15, 20 um, from Pythagoras. So that's the X, which is 15, Y. Yeah, I think, I think I'm happy with that. Um, okay, I think maybe that would be a good place to leave it there for today, because um, we have more of these rather rather boring Pythagoras questions, it looks like. Um, planes and then the shadow. Um, not not too exciting, to be honest. And maybe the more interesting stuff is later with the, the water coming out of the different shaped tanks. This looks like a pretty big exercise. Maybe, maybe not. So, yeah, okay. I think we'll finish there for today. So that's the... 4.1 we have a start on it. Okay, thanks for watching.